Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about different domains of circuit analysis. So basically uh, there are three domains of circuit analysis. One is time domain, second one is frequency domain, third one is Laplace or S domain. So let, first let's see time domain. So consider a resistive divider network. Uh, which consists of two resistance R1 and R2. So in time domain uh, output is given by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now suppose if we are giving step input here then output is also step input. So uh, resistive divider is able to retain uh, its shape shape of output. So uh, but now let's consider a uh, second circuit second example RC circuit so if we are giving step input to this RC circuit output will unable to retain its shape and uh, another thing here is let's see its output so output is given by VO equals to VI minus RC dv0 by dt now question is why rc circuit is unable to retain its shape this is because this is because if we see a uh, frequency response of rc circuit this is given by something like this this is omega axis frequency axis this is magnitude and uh, there is no gain in RC circuit now let's consider two frequencies one is omega 1 another one is omega 2 both are having different amplitudes and uh, omega 2 is greater than omega 1 and this is say this point this is a2 this is a1 and a2 less than a1 now if we pass sine wave through rc circuit and uh, with frequency say omega 1 say frequency omega 1 then output will be at omega 1 frequency and there is no degradation in amplitude so this is omega 1 now if we pass some high frequency signal say omega 2 we will get something like this so here amplitude is degraded attenuated so rc circuit act like a attenuator and now other thing is any step function consists of multiple or uh, different sine waves with different frequencies so when it pass through rc circuit different sine waves get encountered different attenuation so that is the reason we will get output something like that exponential and if we solve this equation we will get exponential output okay so this is time domain analysis now let's go to frequency domain now in this uh, let's consider rc circuit how to represent transfer function for this rc circuit say this is z1 this is z2 v o j omega so by v i j omega v o is output v i is input z2 upon z1 plus z2 z2 basically impedance of uh, capacitor which also we can say it like uh, xc which is 1 by j omega c which depend upon frequency so uh, transfer function is given as this 1 divided by 1 plus j omega rc now we can divide this in two parts one is magnitude other one is phase so magnitude and other one is phase so magnitude is given by h j omega 1 by square root rc square 
and face is given by minus tan inverse imaginary part of divide by real part so face is given by minus tan inverse omega rc so this is the frequency domain representation of circuit now let's see laplace transformation so uh, we can find out laplace transform of uh, any function mathematically integration of e minus st ft dt so this is also known as s domain s domain and this is represented by graphically by s plane s plane consists of two axes one is imaginary axis other one is real axis and any point on this s plane can be represent like s equals to sigma plus j omega now it consists of two plane one is left hand plane other one is right hand plane any pole any pole on right hand plane make system unstable and any pole on left hand plane make system stable now let's consider one pole say sigma 1 on the real axis and uh, then so on this real axis we are having uh, sigma 1 on right hand plane now let's uh, see how it behaves sigma greater than 0 is on right hand plane and it will gives output as a exponential rising waveform so this is uh, one can consider as a unstable unstable because it is not converging output now if sigma is on left hand plane say here so this will give e raised to power minus sigma t so this is exponentially decaying waveform so this makes system stable and this is converging output so that is the reason pole on left hand plane makes system stable and pole on right hand plane makes system unstable now basically actual real frequency axis is this j omega axis in s plane this is imaginary axis but this is actually a real frequency axis now let's consider one rc circuit example for, uh, and see how to represent this in s domain so this is represent in s domain by uh, this equation so we in similar fashion we can find out this is z1 this is z2 hs is given by z2 divided by z1 and plus z2 and uh, so this is z2 or xc impedance of uh, capacitor which is 1 by sc or it also we can write is 1 by j omega c s equals to j omega actually now ma magnitude is given by h so this is magnitude and this is this is given by square root of 1 plus s square by sp square sp is basically a pole sp basically we can write sp is minus 1 by tau tau is basically time constant time constant and tau is given as rc so this is minus 1 by tau and face is given by minus 10 inverse imaginary part upon real part which is uh, omega upon omega p and it is it comes at minus tan inverse omega rc okay now so pole location in s plane so here this is a real pole and real pole is given by minus rc so this is real pole thank you